Good morning everyone and welcome to today's video. So today is September 1st and in the Harry Potter world that is known as Back to Hogwarts Day. It's the day where the kids get on the bus, get on a train, get on a plane, and get to London and get ready to board the Hogwarts Express at platform nine and three quarters. So I have put together this collab and you can check out all the other channels participating below and see what they decided to do. So what are we doing? Well, let's get started and let's talk about it. So while trying to figure out what I wanted to do, I was like, do I want to do a recipe? Do I want to do a craft? Do I want to try to do makeup? And this was sitting in my kitchen. It's just a brown paper bag, but it reminded me of when I was in high school middle school as well but more high school and my mom and I would cover my textbooks in brown paper bags and then I could draw on them I could doodle on them it protected my books and I had my own unique cover and I'm like you know we could do something with that for this so what we're going to need for this craft we're going to cover a notebook you can use a composition notebook you can use a uh, unwired uh, one subject notebook, you can use a hardback diary, whatever you want to use. You're going to need some glue, got some glue here, and you're going to need some brown paper. Now, I have a bag from Dylan's, but they sell uh, rolls of craft paper online. If you want to be cheap, you can go to your local grocery store and say, hey, can I buy a uh, brown paper bag from you? Nine times out of ten, they're probably going to give you one. So what we're going to do is we're going to take apart this sack. We're going to start at the bottom, kind of just open it so it's all full and folded out. We're going to open up our book, like so, and we're going to trace it onto the brown paper and make it a little bit bigger so that it can cover. And then we're going to do some other fun stuff. So let's get started with the first part, which is taking apart the bag and get this book covered. So now that we have our paper bag all put, put apart, as you can see, I've got lots of space. I'm obviously going to make sure that this wording is either on the inside or that we don't use it. So I'm going to go trace my book and we'll be right back. making my craft. So here is what it looks like and when you last saw it on the video I was working on this. So what I did was I simply cut diagonal from the corner, folded it in, and glued all the edges around. And then I did the same thing for the back and I just cut here at the binding um, so that I could fold it in and then when I was done I just simply snipped it off to the edges to let it like just be even and kind of level. So I'm kind of just going through and pressing everything. So what I used my art glitter glue and I as much as I love this stuff, I kind of hate it at the same time. Um it really it really clogs up in the tips like if you don't use it on a daily basis. So if you are someone that's going to be doing something with craft glue on a literally daily basis, then I would recommend art glitter glue. If not, I wouldn't recommend it. Because as you saw, I had to grab out a paintbrush and glob it on and yeah, so it just didn't work out so well. 
but it worked for this project. And really, even though it put some creases and stuff in the brown paper, it actually helped it look a little bit more parchmenty like. So here is the covered book. So what we can do now is a multiple of things. We can decorate it with um, our Hogwarts house. We can decorate it with whatever we want. And I actually found uh, this image online. It's the Hogmeade Station timetable. So I'm just going to simply cut it out because you know, um, like any of the students are probably like, when is the train going back? When do we need to be on it? And so my guess is that one of those students that would have this on their book would probably be a Ravenclaw or a Gryffindor just because they're like so on top of their studies and things. So I'm simply going to cut it out and I just printed it on regular um, eight and a half by 11 printer paper in color and it looks kind of parchmenty already so that definitely helps. And then got a lighter and I'm just going to light, light it in kind of spots and let it kind of get kind of the burnt look to it. If you're doing this with your kids, make sure that you're the one doing the uh, burning part. You don't want any kids to get hurt or an accidental crafting fire to happen. Because you know that there's probably some sort of accidental magic that happened and that's why the timetable is kind of burnt. So this is what it looks like now. As you can see, I kind of just burned it in different spots. So here's the front of my book. Yeah, you can tell because it's got the white. And here is the back, and you can tell because of the brown. So I'm going to put it on the back of my notebook, and I'm going to just grab a new paintbrush and my art glitter glue here. And just put a little bit around the edges. If you want some in um, the middle, you can 100% do that. And I probably shouldn't be gluing it on the project itself, but you know, we, we daredevils around here. So I'm just simply putting some of the art glitter glue around the edges, making sure to get around the spots where we burned so that it's going to stay down. Now, another thing that you can do once you are done creating your notebook, if you want to make sure that everything stays down, if you're putting stickers or other type of decor on it, is you can get contact paper. You can get it at, you know, your local regular Walmart. Um, if you can't find it in the um, office supply items, go check the homeware where they have like the shelf liners because sometimes you can find the clear contact paper in that area as well. And you can cover it so everything stays down. So I've got it all glued and I'm going to just simply lay it down and press. So that decorates the back of my book. So here's how it turned out. So you can see it's just Hogsmeade Station, you know. It's one of the kids got to hold their wand and they did, they did the wrong spell. So we're going to decorate the front in just a second. So when you decide to do the cover for your book, you can do multiple different things. You can do your name. You can do Hogwarts. You can do a specific class that one of the students took. So let's get started and deal with the front.
did muggle studies on mine and I did fun things from the 90s like I did the S, I did the year I graduated, class of 2006, I did the smile, I was never good at writing the smile. Um, because I have this Hufflepuff, I did go Hufflepuff, I did my maiden name, Lena O'Connor plus Sam Hall, and then I wrote like down here at the bottom, class of Monday was a Friday, Lena plus Sam equals BFF. And then on the back was the Hogwarts time uh, station timetables and fairs. So this is really fun to do. <laughs> it really reminded me of one of my uh, textbooks from school. Obviously, we didn't um, glue them to the textbook, but you know, this we did. Um, as you can see, there is kind of this little flap right here from the uh, being the. Uh, grocery bag. You could 100% glue it down if you wanted to. Like I said, you can also cover it in contact paper so then everything stays nice and clean once you're done decorating. So that's it for today's collab craft project. I hope you go check out everyone else who's participating and let me know in the comments below. Did you used to cover your books in school? I want to know. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone!